Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Captain N, the Game Master. playing Contra for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and Contra is, oh man, Contra is a classic. Contra had, it's, 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 it's a Konami game, so it's a Japanese game, and it was, um, I don't know if it was ported to Nintendo or where it started, but it got really famous because it's a, it's a, a super popular Nintendo game, and if, I mean, if you're, if you're around in the late 80s, probably at some point you played Contra. It spawned several sequels. There was Super C, which was a, a, a great game, a great follow-up, also on the Nintendo. And then it spawned uh, Contra 3 The Alien Wars, which is on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That That is a spectacular game. That is, like, arguably better than the original Contra. But anyway, so um, I, I, I love this game. When I was... Oh man, what was that? Probably 12 or 13 years old. I actually completed a no-hit run of this game on a, a single-player game. And then I played it with my buddy John, and the two of us did a no-hit run on two-player. Um, and yes, that took us an entire summer to do. And I really, I've probably honestly played this game five times in the last uh, <laughs> 10 years. So this is going to be really interesting to see what I can do, how far I can make it into the game. Uh, again, this is when we're going to do three lives. Um, we're not going to do the 30. There's obviously the infamous code in this game, but we're just going to do three lives, and we're going to see uh, how far I can get on three lives. Probably recognize the, the music right there if you took the time to watch the intro. Um, that's one of, the, one of the tracks that I used to start it out. Oh my goodness, we're losing sound. It's funny, because when I was a kid, it seemed like terribly important to me to never ever miss anything. Now that I'm an adult, I really don't care about half the stuff. Like, I'm not going to get that flame. Oh, wait for that flame to disappear. Because uh, actually, unlike most games for the Nintendo, this doesn't have a timer. You'll notice that. If the flame does actually disappear. Okay, let's just go around the flame. Because it doesn't look like it's disappearing. <laughs> Either one of them. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take out the guy in the tower. The second thing you want to do is take out these turret guns, because they actually shoot at varying distances. So, um, all right, here we go. That's level one. And then you take out the center, obviously. And 
and my neighbor's kids are outside playing because I'm recording this in the summertime. I don't know why they're not inside like good kids playing video games. I don't know what they're doing outside. So basically the rule is never stop shooting. <laughs> no matter what happens. Just... If you don't stop shooting, your chances of survival are significantly increased. Because everything is going to throw bombs at you or shoot you or... I mean, everything. And if you duck, you, you won't get hit by those bullets that come by. And if you press the forward button... Oh, that was not... Lost spreads. Not a good place to lose a spread. But I'll take the flame. All right, I'll take flame any day. All right, so what we've got is we've got two turrets on the top left and the top right. If you take out all those energy cells or whatever they are, then what's going to happen is the boss is going to appear. But if you, uh, if you take out the guns first, then he's pretty easy to handle. If you uh, if you take these out first, trust me, you try to fight him with both turret guns up, it's not going to go well for you. And that flame actually seems like a, a really good weapon to use against this guy, because... You know, obviously... Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. So that's two down, level two down. Da -da -da -da. And there's a bird trilling <laughs> right outside the window. All right, so this level, this level's like a nightmare. If you play it on, I'm telling you, you play this on two player, it's so much harder. I mean, it's hard on one player. I'm probably gonna die here, but uh, would you have a second person? Because you can leave them behind. I'm actually gonna stick with the flame, so I don't... Oh, I got my life back, that's cool. Alright, so this B makes me invincible. Rapid's supposed to make my shots rapid. But I don't... Remember that ever actually happened. You gotta try to take the guns out before they become a problem. Because if you wait until there are multiple guns on screen, then things just get a lot more complicated. So we're at the boss. Good. Now we want to take out each one of these arms first. The arm has at the end of it sort of like a ball and chain. Oh, he <laughs> totally lose your spread. Alright, so he's going to hold perfectly still while he shoots from his mouth. One arm down. We just gotta take the. If I remember correctly, you can shoot the corner of his mouth and not get hit by them. So. Alright, that's level three. Base two. This one features the blocks to get the breakthrough. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself killed. Yep, and it's B the devil. 
So there's a lot more guns in this one. And, and I don't have the... If I had spread, this would obviously be much easier. So instead of having to break one of these little power cells, you gotta break four of them. And, uh... Broke the cardinal rule right there. Never stop shooting. If you can move, move. And regardless of what happens, never stop shooting. At least the first four levels of Contra, and I know I can do better than that. Uh, but um, anyway, all right. Thanks for thanks for watching.